<clears throat> oh, I put my spectacles on. So, today we are cooking. We're cooking. What are we cooking? I'm going to tell you. Okay, oh, like my shirt? It's probably backwards, but it says, don't be a cunt cake. <laughs> Auntie Ho, I, I squished this part up so my daughter can't read it, you know? But anyway, I like the little cupcake thing on it. That's why I made this shirt. But anyway, that's besides so the point. I needed something to cook. Hey Google, turn off the music. I needed something to cook and I don't feel like making um, steak and, what is it, like steak and onions and mushroom or steak and onions and peppers. I've been eating so much pepper, like I am like having so much heartburn, not even heartburn, gas. Like you know that gas that you get in your, in your chest? It's not like burping gas, but it's like, just makes you feel uncomfortable, you know? You ever get that gas bubble where you go to breathe in and it's like, it feels like you need to crack your chest and it goes and then it goes away. That's what I'm feeling like. Like I don't feel good. But um those peppers are the bomb, okay? Bomb.com. So I'm anyway, just... I was looking up a recipe because I have this thin eye of round steak, right? So I'm like, this doesn't look like your typical steak. And I think every time I make it, it it it's too thick to be like a sandwich. And it's too thin to be like, I don't know, anything else. But not too thin to make this recipe here. So what we're going to do, I looked up a recipe with tender round steak eye, thin sliced steak eye. And it doesn't really say what the recipe is. It just says tender round steak, which is exactly what it is. But we're going to try to make it. First time I ever made this. Um, so if you want to see how it comes out, just off, stick around. Flour and salt. And I'm assuming any other seasonings that you want to put in it. Okay. Uh, flatten the steak. It's already flattened, so I don't know how else, how much more it could be flattened. Uh, in a large resealable bag, combine flour, salt, and add beef and shake to coat. In a small oven-proof skillet, brown beef and oil on both sides, remove from heat. Okay, so we're going to use a little rice pot. We're going to use this. I'm going to put some oil in it. If you're wondering where everybody is, Kilo is playing basketball. And um, Angie's at her friends, and Lalo is at States. So Mama's home alone. <laughs> it is 5:30 right now. We're gonna take some vegetable oil. It says canola oil, but I don't have canola oil. So we're gonna do like so. I'm still organizing stuff, guys. I still, if you don't know, if you just tuned into my channel, I just moved here not even a month ago i did pretty darn good um uh, <clears throat> kind of like putting putting everything together um but you know um i still have a lot of things to do to try to figure out where to put stuff i know it looks like i have a lot of cabinets but i don't have enough if i had three more cabinets i would be set but i don't so you gotta do what you got, right? So this is what I got. So we need flour. Where's my, where's my flour? My brain is not working correctly today. Okay, oh my God. Okay. Come on, brain. You ever get those days where you're like, you just got like brain fog? Yeah. That's me today. I'm just feeling a little off. But, you know, life don't stop for mamas. We got to keep it moving. Okay, here's my flower bag. 
got that there. I think we're gonna need a little bit more flour than what they said. I'm going to put, if you don't know me, if you know me, you know what I'm gonna put in there. Garlic. And I'm gonna put adobo because it has salt in it. We're switching it up a little bit here, guys. So I'm just kinda like, you can never have too much garlic. In my, in my opinion, so I'm going to do like just a little bit of adobo. I should probably, I, I don't know. See, everybody does stuff di different. I feel like I should I don't know, put it on the meat first. So, all right, move you over here. Move you over here. Move you there. Put you here. Okay, so I washed my hands already before I started this, okay? We're putting the meat in and we're just breading it. And I'm frying it up. It has to be brown. It said to brown it. So that's what we're doing. We can stick two in here because I feel like those are going to be brown. And then it said to take them out, put them to the side. And then I'll show you what else we gotta do. I don't know if everybody's gonna like it, but it's gonna be different. And you know, it's nothing like having a different type of meal. You just get tired of cooking the same stuff. So, ooh, I figured I had a different idea. So maybe I can give you guys a different idea. You know, my idea becomes your idea and we all work together, you know? So if you know a different kind of recipe for this, put it in the comments. We can all share each other's ideas and make a whole new meal out of the eye of round. We need, so luckily I have the ingredients. I need onion, carrots, and celery. So after these are done browning and I flip them and I brown them, I take them out and then I'm going to take the giblets or whatever the heck is inside there, you know, the little whatever tasty parts. And I'm going to make like a sauce. So hold on. A video uh, about, I think it's labeled, I did it again. Um, that is the video where I filled my whole entire fridge by doubling up orders by accident at Walmart. And so my whole entire fridge was filled with like fresh produce, which is a good thing. So now I'm using it all. Henceforth why I have gas. Just saying. But my, you know, feels good. So I don't know how much I'm supposed to use, but I'm taking it out now. Hold on. In drippings, saute the celery, carrot, onions for three to four minutes. So we need, and we need tomatoes stewed and drained. Do I have them? Do I have stewed tomatoes? If not, I'm using tomato sauce. You know how I do. Ah, uh, yes I do. Yes, she does. I usually always try to get a thing of stewed tomatoes just in case. So stewed tomatoes, and we need some Worcestershire sauce. I think I have that up there. And two tablespoons of shredded sharp, sharp, shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Try saying that three times fast. Shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Cheddar sharp cheddar cheese. Two. Chop of the stuff up. Uh, I'm gonna have to do another Walmart run. This time I, I learned my lesson. All of the kings and I'm a song to make it pop. Champagne and raise up. Uh, I need tongs. I need some tongs, a tongs, tongs, tongs. Tong. We gotta flip these babies. What are we thinking? Okay, okay. You can't even see what, oh, you can see a little bit. A little bit.
god. My eyes are so my eyes are so bad when it comes to onions, like so bad. I only caught half an onion. What the hell? My eyelashes are gonna come on. Let's turn it. After I finish crying over here. Big change. Freaking big. Oh, my. Okay. Maybe get turned down. We don't want that to burn. We need this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's look for the Worcestershire sauce. Here we go. Nope, that's soy sauce. Damn it, I think I did this the last time. What do you use instead of Worcestershire? I got I got actually got white wine, a hot sauce, got white vinegar, sugar. Damn it! What do you use? I gotta remember to buy this, man. I don't have Worcestershire sauce. How's that gonna work? I got beef stock. Hold on. Okay, so we're using A1 steak sauce. That's what we're doing. Because <clears throat> I don't have Worcestershire sauce. Damn it. Okay, so. In the dripping, saute the carrots, onion, and celery for three minutes. It didn't say it, but whatever. sauteing in here I'm gonna use this thing what a whisk I'm gonna use a whisk forgive me I already warned you my brain is foggy well it's gonna be healthy anyway turn the oven on to 325 Add tomatoes and Worcestershire sauce, stirring to loosen brown bits from. See, we don't have the Worcestershire sauce. That's why. So we're putting the A1 steak sauce. Hey, it was like the closest I could think of. So we're doing this. I'll be right back. My battery's dying. I just added the um, Worcestershire. No. The steak sauce and the sweet tomatoes. So, and the stuff at the bottom is getting off. I'm gonna show you what it looks like before you die again. So, that's what it looks like. I'll be back. Now I'll be back, for real. But you won't know. You won't know anything. Okay, so you add one can of stewed tomatoes, undrained. Put it all in here. Get the drippings and stuff off. Then we're gonna take this. Put it on top, put some over the top, and then we're gonna cover it and bake it for an hour on 325. And after that, I'll be back. That's pretty easy, right? All right, guys, it has now been an hour, and we have to take the foil off and let it cook and put um, some shredded cheese on it. So I'm gonna shred some cheese. Get in here, I'm gonna turn it off. We're gonna let the cheese melt by itself. I'm not gonna keep it on because it's been on there for a minute. And I'm gonna show you, I have some potatoes that I made the other day. So we're just gonna eat it with the potatoes. And um, oh. yeah, we'll see. Put up, squad. Mm -hmm. Look back. What is that? Says a grill cover. Said Lopez. Wow. Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to see this, huh? I don't know where this came from. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> They're cute. Why don't they put them in the fucking box? I'll get hey, back I'm to you guys. Alright guys, so they are finally home. Picture there. We just walked to get Angie. Picture there, picture there. Angie's friend gave her some stuff. 
Look at, see, this is what I'm gonna do. Gonna it's some junk. Food. She was like, here, take my junk, Anji. I liked it. Well, it it's junk. pictures, and then there's a folder, but. Can I put pictures on it? So it's time to eat, and I made something different. Guys, you wanna see my friend? No. They don't. But I they do wanna see this meal that I cooked. Okay, so let's do this. You ready? You ready to try something different? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a little something. overcooked now. <laughs> It'll be all right. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. It looks, it looks like the picture, actually. I want a drink. It, does, it looks like the picture. Anyway, and I got some mashed potatoes. Is it called something special or something? Like, this is like a different thing? No, this is round eye. Mommy, something on round Sunday, eye. We're, we're not, oh, guys, me and my mom are going to do a video on Sunday. It's going to be very special. Yep, don't tell them anything else. <laughs> we should. Yeah. And it's, um, it's going to be really fun. Okay, so a little mash. At least I think. It's going to be nice, relaxing. Mm hmm. We're doing it in my room. Okay. Okay, let's see how this digs in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa. So we're gonna put that right up here. All right. Bon appetit, Kilo. All right, let's see what this looks like. So you gotta try it. So we're going with. It's gonna be good. Well, I like mashed potatoes and steak, so. It's just what a is different. What's this called, though? Like this. It's is called. Steak a la. Do we have no. Frankenstein. No. No, it's not Frank. Uh, it's not Frankenstein a la nothing. <laughs> uh, it's just. Um, I googled a recipe. It's healthy. It's healthy. It looks good. No, you don't do that. You don't, don't try it? to make. No, how are you gonna mix that big piece of steak? Well, you don't mix the steak. No, sometimes. but don't do that. It's gravy on there for a reason. Right? It's it. gravy, but it's not gravy. Um, they didn't have it on with mashed potatoes, so I don't know what to tell you. They had it just on the side. You're just lucky. What? What? Is that a potato I just bit into? What? You're scaring me. No, babe. There's no. there's carrots and um, celery. The carrots and celery is good. Carrot. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> carrots, celery, and tomato. And steak. Now he knows what it is. He ain't gonna be freaked out. Mm -hmm. Nothing nasty. See this is what how you eat Trust it. Your dad. Look, you see this? Let me see this. Thing. You go like that. You really? cut it. Yeah. So wait, the first step. It's supposed to be knife. tender. How come I don't have a knife? It's tender. Tender. You eat it like a grown up. Dad, I don't have scissors. It's good. And nice and soft. Oh. So so each bite, what is it? Mmm. It is good. Here, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Eat it with the mashed potatoes. Here, wait. Can we have lasagna? Small thing. Can we have what? Lasagna. And she's like, I miss food. This is what I'm eating. Mm. I give you my whole life. Well. He doesn't hate it because he's still eating it. <laughs> I don't know, it's a little weird. You gotta eat, we're hungry, okay? <clears throat> it's good, but why is it weird? I don't, I don't There's like a it. weird taste. There's something. They're carrots and they're celery. And I fried it. I breaded it, fried it. Mm, great job. Different. So what are you gonna do? 
But nobody's gonna wanna make it if they think it's disgusting. So you have to tell the people exactly what it is you like and what it is you dislike about it. I don't like it. it. Hmm. I wouldn't recommend it to eat. What a jerk. She's a jerk. <laughs> you said tell them what I Why though? I don't know, I just don't like it. No, you can't just say you just don't like it. I don't like, like the taste it. of it. What's the taste? What's it taste like? Celery! So what? And some weird other thing. It's good for you. It's carrot. You like carrot. Yeah, what but do you I say? taste something else. No. It doesn't taste good. He's still eating it though, guys, so. What do you think? Um, what is What about it don't you like? Because it's different and you're not used to the texture of it. The, the... <laughs> the thing is, like, everything is good. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But I don't like it mixed. You never like it mixed. What's you mixed it? You're the one that mixed it. No, I together. Did. I did. No, yeah, you it mixed was on it. Top and look like sauce. But no, I'd rather carrots be on the side. Okay, here, put this away. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I can get, I can no. make you a whole other no, one. Mommy, who cares? Mm -mm. Why? I can make you a whole other one. No, baby, you did a great job. Mommy, you told him to say what he said. I can no. make him a whole other one. I, know I have did, more. Mm -mm. You did a great job. And it's good. Okay, so if I make this again. Then I won't combine it. I'll do like I was gonna put noodles on the side, but I was like, we got this mashed potatoes, and mm -hmm. I figured you like it. Do it exactly how you did it. Mm -hmm. Just the um, carrots on the side for me. There's so no bad, way. Don't? No. No, there's no way to do that without the carrots. No. Okay. Okay, let me tell you the recipe. Mm -hmm. First, you brown the meat. Mm -hmm. You put it in flour and you brown it mm -hmm. and oil. You're kind of like frying it. Because of my mashed potatoes, see the, Then, like right. mm -hmm. then you take the meat out. You chop up carrots, celery, and onions. You saute it in all the juices from the meat, right? Sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. You saute, you, you cook it all up. Then, you add the tomatoes. Cook it all up, you know, all tomatoes, nice and nice. It, 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 called, it called for it though. So all that together, right? Mm -hmm. Then you take the meat and you put it back in. You put the sauce over the meat. It's all by direction. Oh, this is a real thing. This is a real meal. What is it called? Savory. I. Savory. Ribeye. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ribeye. Mm -hmm. Round mm -hmm. eye rib. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you put it in the oven. You let it cook for an hour. All together. The meat. That's the meat. That's everything. And with the mashed potatoes? No. The mashed potatoes on the side, and then you just put the meat and the sauces on top of the mashed potatoes. That's what. Right? The meat and sauces came in this pot just like this. That's how it cooks. And that's just meat and sauce, no mashed potatoes. No. I put it on the mashed potatoes because I thought sauces. you would like it. No. But I should have known. I should have known that you were going to mix it all together. Mm. Mm -mm. That's mean. I should have known. Now I know. I like it together. See, me, uh, like I said, here, I don't look, like. There you um, go. I don't like. Lumpy no, mashed yeah. potatoes, right? Yeah. And then, like, when I'm biting it, it's all these textures in my mashed potatoes. So, mm. next time I eat this. So, if you guys, if you're like me. And you're like te texture? You don't want all that stuff, then, yeah, keep but, it to the side. Like, if I would have just kept it to the side with all the sauces and just ate it with my meat. Let me just say. That would have been perfect. Anytime I made this ribeye, round ribeye, you kissed me already. You kissed me again. Listen, though, no, I'm talking. I got She's my mouth doing, Don't kiss me, too. I know. Yeah, um, good I didn't look. Anytime I made this, the, the I'm sorry for seeing that, guys. Thank you. Anytime I'm, I made this, I'm grateful for not seeing it. The steak always came out dry. The steak is not dry. It's juicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, healthy for you. Give your body vitamins. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. You're almost done. Shut up. Yeah, you're good. You told me to see how I feel about it. That was before. That was before. This is now. I'm telling you guys how I feel about it. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> So are we gonna do that? I'm right after I eat, Amzi. What? What's she making you do now? I said I'm I was not making it. Cut it. He's making himself. Uh, yeah, but I'm but mm. I'll cut it when I'm ready. I really do like it. Oh, think? there's A1 steak sauce in it. I didn't have Worcestershire sauce. I like A1. Don't forget to drink your water, guys. Stay hydrated. Stop. It's a TikTok trend. 
I'm working out while I eat. <laughs> well, good job, baby. Mm. All right, over and out. Oh. Please. 